There's been considerable buzz lately about Sony's rumored upcoming release, the FX3 Mark II. Enthusiasm is building, especially with talk that this new model could include a global shutter and a video-centric E-mount camera, which has potential to shake up the industry. Before we get carried away with speculation, let's break down what we actually know, what's still conjecture, and whether this camera could truly make waves. One of the most exciting rumors is that the FX3 Mark II could include a global shutter. For those unfamiliar, a global shutter is a major technological advancement in video. This feature captures all pixels simultaneously, which eliminates the rolling shutter effect that can cause distorted or wobbly footage when shooting fast-moving subjects. Imagine capturing high-speed action without the usual warping or jello artifacts that's what a global shutter promises. If Sony can deliver this on the FX3 Mark II, it would be a massive leap forward for filmmakers seeking clear, distortion-free footage regardless of action speed. Right now, though, we're still firmly in the rumor zone. Sony hasn't officially confirmed anything, so while it's exciting to imagine, we don't have proof yet. Even if this is a speculative feature, a global shutter in an E-mount video-focused camera makes a lot of sense for Sony, and it's easy to see why this rumor is gaining traction. High-quality footage with minimal distortions could make the FX3 Mark II a go-to tool for professionals and filmmakers who regularly shoot fast-moving subjects. Another intriguing rumor is that the FX3 Mark II might not just be an upgrade, but could also replace the FX3 entirely. Some are speculating that Sony might merge its beloved A7S series with the FX line, which would be a bold move. The A7S series has long been a staple for videographers, especially with the 2020 release of the A7S III. Known for its impressive low-light capabilities and versatile video performance, the A7S III has held a special place in Sony's lineup. A merger of these two lines could simplify Sony's offerings in the video-centric camera space. The A7S III and FX3 already share many features, both use a 12-megapixel full-frame sensor, Sony's BIONZ-XR processor, and both offer 4K recording at up to 120 frames per second, as well as industry-leading autofocus. The main differences are design-oriented. For instance, the A7S III has an electronic viewfinder, while the FX3 opts for a more compact, video-focused body without it. From a business standpoint, consolidating these two models could streamline Sony's lineup and reduce product overlap. For consumers, it would simplify choices by offering a single powerhouse camera that combines the best features of both models. However, some longtime A7S users, who appreciate the unique characteristics and legacy of the series, might feel a merger dilutes what they love about the A7S. The A7S series is not just any camera line it's had a transformative impact on the world of compact, high-quality video and has become a beloved choice among videographers and filmmakers. Since its debut in 2014, the A7S has been a favorite for creators who need both high-quality video and reliable low-light performance in a portable form. Over the years, it has built a devoted following of professionals and enthusiasts who appreciate its balance of portability, power, and versatility. The series wasn't merely a new addition to Sony's Alpha lineup, it represented a significant step forward for full-frame, mirrorless video cameras. This blend of portability, video quality, and versatility allowed the A7S to become a trusted partner in many videographers' workflows. Its compact size and design made it ideal for creators on the go, yet it didn't sacrifice professional-grade video capabilities. For many, the A7S isn't just a camera it's an indispensable tool that has accompanied them through significant creative milestones. For A7S users, the series has provided a balance between advanced functionality and user-friendly design, making it suitable for everything from professional studio work to spontaneous, on-the-go shooting scenarios. The FX series, though also highly capable, is positioned more squarely as a dedicated video camera, ideal for filmmakers and production environments where video performance is the highest priority. The A7S series, by contrast, has always straddled the line between professional video and still photography, offering flexibility to creators who need both. For hybrid shooters who rely on the A7S for both video and stills, 
losing that flexibility could be disappointing. If Sony fully integrates the A7S with the FX line, some of the qualities that made the A7S distinct could be lost, leaving its loyal users feeling as though they're losing a familiar creative partner. Merging the FX and A7S lines could signal a shift in Sony's design philosophy for video-centric cameras. The A7S series carved out its niche not only through performance but through a recognizable design that Sony enthusiasts have come to associate with the Alpha series. Fans value the A7S line's ergonomic design and the Alpha aesthetic, which many feel contributes to the camera's enduring appeal. Sony might risk alienating its longtime A7S user base if the FX3 Mark II replaces the A7S3. Many fans have come to rely on the A7S's flexibility and adaptability, especially its compact design and hybrid capabilities. Moving toward a more video-centric design, like the FX lines, might not appeal to those who value the hybrid flexibility of the A7S. Moreover, the A7S series has built a reputation for its exceptional low-light performance, winning over groups like wedding videographers, documentary filmmakers, and travel content creators who frequently work in varied and challenging lighting conditions. If the FX3 Mark II emphasizes video-centric features and neglects some of the low-light qualities that made the A7S so beloved, these dedicated users could feel left out. Over the years, the A7S series has represented Sony's dedication to innovation, particularly in mirrorless camera technology. It's not only shaped Sony's offerings but has also influenced the broader camera market, setting a new standard for full-frame video-centric cameras. The series became synonymous with Sony's innovative approach, offering features that specifically catered to a niche yet influential group of users. For those who have used the A7S from the beginning, the idea of its identity merging with another line might feel like the end of an era. The A7S line isn't just a camera series to many of its users, it's an emotional connection, a legacy, and a tool that has helped them reach significant creative milestones. Cameras often become an extension of a creator's vision, and for those who have relied on the A7S line, the thought of adopting a different model, even one with potentially better specs, might not feel the same. In conclusion, while the potential FX3 Mark II could be an extraordinary tool, what truly matters is your passion for storytelling and your dedication to pushing creative boundaries. Keep experimenting, focus on refining your craft, and continue creating content that resonates. Whether you're using a top-of-the-line camera or an older model, it's your perspective and passion that will make the difference.